Going into a, chemi to a chemical induced menopause is not great for a lot of men. Uh, it's interesting when we discuss side effects to really keep in mind that while there is a huge number of side effects that occur, it's not guaranteed that the patient will develop each and every one. Most common, of course, is loss of sexual function as well as loss of libido and the hot flushes or what we call vaso vasomotor symptoms that seem to be really exacerbated at night. Interestingly, in addition to other potential side effects, including accelerated osteoporosis, we actually see patients develop a normochromic, normocytic anemia in about probably 5 to 10 percent of patients. It results in a mild decrease in hemoglobin. So if a gentleman is anywhere from 14 to 15, he may go down to 11 to 12 or 12 to 13. But I think what is very concerning and really underscores how we need to communicate with our general medicine or primary care colleagues is that very often patients will come in having been started on iron or vitamin B12 having been told that they're horribly anemic when in reality you need testosterone to make red blood cells. Ergo, we are causing this mild anemia. Similarly, patients can develop uh, loss of muscle tone, they're more fatigued, there's mood changes, uh, patients could become extremely temperamental, one moment tearful, the next minute very belligerent or short-tempered. But more importantly is the metabolic sy uh, syndrome that everybody talks about. What's important here is that about, if you look at the established literature, patients who have an elevated HDL or LDL to begin with would actually increase by another 10 to 15 percent even within their cholesterol. So there is a risk of somebody develop hypertriglyceridemia or hypercholesterolemia in already a pre-existing problem for that patient. Uh, similarly, they have increased abdominal girth, we call it centripetal obesity. A uh, patient just the other day was complaining that he went up to waist sizes on his slacks and was very aggravated. People feel bloated. They, uh, they just don't feel right. And the problem with the fatigue is that instead of people going to the gym, what happens after the fatigue? They don't go to the gym, and then they get a little bit more weight gain, and it just goes on to a vicious cycle. If you can maintain muscle tone, I think you're doing yourself a tremendous favor. Cognitive issues are also a complete concern for most people. There is a substantial body of literature, including several articles from the Journal of Clinical Oncology within the last two years, that suggest patients on androgen deprivation therapy actually are more susceptible to cognitive changes.